Now, South Africa's Department of Energy met with independent power producers in Midran today to discuss the procurement process for the supply of renewables in the country. Moladelo Ramatwala attended the discussions and she filed this report. South Africa is currently heavily reliant on coal, which represents almost 90% of its energy generation. But government is hoping to make the country's energy mix 30% clean by 2025, with ESCOM supplying the remaining 70%. Independent power producers are all vying for a share in government's renewable energy program with an estimated capital cost of 120 billion rand. ESCOM is not involved in the selection process. We're involved once the selection is done in finalizing the PPA, getting it through the right governance, getting PFMA approval. And then once it's signed, we're the ones who have to collect the tariffs from our customers and pay to the uh, IPPs. As a department, we have no experience on procurement of this magnitude. Uh, the process that we followed uh, up to date, what, what we did, we requested, with the assistance of Treasury, uh, to put a team of transaction advisors. And uh, the team consisted a number of um, law firms and uh, also uh, some of uh, the representatives from the lenders and also some of the representatives from um, uh, bi uh, big uh, companies like Ernst & Young. The technologies to be considered include hydro, wind, biomass, bio and landfill gas, as well as solar power. We're also looking at technologies around waste to energy. The interesting thing about the waste to energy uh, solutions are that they create tremendous job opportunities in any community. So you could scale it up very easily. While most IPPs agree that government's commitment is a move in the right direction, some are concerned with the bidding process. The bidding that's only available for CSP is 200 megawatts. And our view is very simple is that if there's going to be five windows of bidding, the 200 megawatts will be taken in the first round. How do you actually sustain it into the future? And some of our big players, as I indicated, like Simmons, they want to manufacture locally. They can't set up factories just for a demand of 200 megawatts. I think the barrier to entry in this bid process is extremely high. You know, the bid document was 15,000 non-refundable and there is an expectation in terms of, not an expectation, a conditionality that for every megawatt produced you have to have 100,000 up front. So you could see right from the beginning the process is then leaning towards the major global IPP players. Bidders are expected to make the first submission on November 4 and the department intends to announce the preferred bidders in each category by COP17 later that month.